Hi, welcome to this Corbin Maths primary video on words and figures. In this video, we're going to look at how to write numbers that are written in words as figures and numbers that are written in figures as words. It's very important to be able to know how to spell each of the numbers. Uh, so I'm going to go through some of the important numbers now. Feel free to pause the video and to spend some time learning them. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten so they're the numbers from one to ten now the numbers from eleven to twenty eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen and twenty make sure you if you need to recap any of those make sure you pause the video or rewind the video and just have a look and you know maybe write them down and learn them okay next once you get past 20, we have the number 20 and then a hyphen and then a one. Sometimes you'll see the number written as 21 without the hyphen. Strictly speaking, it should have it, but sometimes even in, I've seen GCSE exams, it's been left out, but it really should have it there. So 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. So as you go into the 20s, you just put the hyphen and the one, hyphen two, hyphen three, and so on. Okay, that would repeat as well for 30. So it would go 31, 32, 33, and so on. 40s, 50s, 60s, and so on, okay? So if we look at the 10s, we've got 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. So let's have a look at some other important numbers. So a one followed by one zero, well that's 10. A one followed by two zeros, that's 100. A one followed by three zeros, that's 1,000. A one followed by four zeros, that's 10,000. A one followed by five zeros is 100,000. And a one followed by six zeros is 1 million. And you may have seen this before in place value, but um, this is the place value column. So for instance, you've got your decimal point, the first column to the left is called the units, the next one the tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, one hundred thousands, and millions, and so on. And then to the right of the decimal point we go tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. And that's very important whenever you're writing a number in figures as words. Okay, so let's have a look at some typical questions now. So to begin with, our first question says, write this number in words. Now, I, I firmly believe a student should know the numbers from one to 100 just instantly by looking at them. So this one, three, four, well, that's going to be 34. Again, it should have the hyphen in. Uh, sometimes, again, you might see it without the hyphen, but it, it should have it there. Okay, the next question. Uh, we've been asked to write this number in words. Now, it's got a two in the hundreds column, so it's going to be 200. And then we've got the 61, so it's gonna be 261. Okay, our next question says, write the number 71 in figures. So 71 will have a seven in the tens column and a one in the units column, so 71. Write 605 in figures, so that it will have a six in the hundreds column. It's got no tens, so zero, and it's got a five in the units column, so 605. Right, so we've been asked to write uh, this number in words. So it's got a two in the thousands column, so it'd be 2,000. It's got a one in the hundreds, so it's gonna be 2,100. And then it's got 55, so the number will be 2,155. Uh, the next question says to write the number, uh, this number in words. So again, it's got a nine in the thousands column. It's got no hundred, so it'd be just 9,000. And then it's got 21, so the answer will be 9,021. Okay, our next question. So our next question, we've been asked to write the number 8,192 in figures. So first of all, we're gonna have an eight in the thousands column, then we're gonna have a one in the hundreds column, and then a 92, and that's it. Okay, our next question says to write 12,021 in figures. So again, it's gonna have a uh, 12, so it's gonna have a one in the 10 thousands and a two in the thousands, or 12,000. It's got no hundreds, so zero, and then it's got 21. So it'll be 12,021. Okay, next. We've been asked to write this number in words. So we've got the tens of thousands and we've got the thousands, the hundreds, the tens and the units. So it's got a one in the ten thousands and a two in the thousands. So altogether that will make 12,000. Then we've got 530. So the number will be 
12,530. Okay, next question. Our next question says to write 72,402 in figures. So we'll write the 72,000 first of all, then put the comma down. It then says 400, so four, and then there's no tens and it's a two, so zero and two. So 72,402. And our last question says to write this number in words. Well, it's got 103,000. So we'll write that down first of all, 103,000. And then we'll put a comma and then 590. So the, the answer is 103,590. And that's it.